Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about some rumbas and how to play them. And this is in response to a request from a Zoom class that I teach every Tuesday from the Chicago Blues Network. Um, it's a group class and uh, they were asking about Crosscut Saw by Albert King. And I also think of like two other rumbas that I Get Evil is one and so is a woke up this morning so they're all kind of they both have a similar like rumba patterns so I guess the first thing is is the bass line so I'm gonna put a bass line to a cross cut saw so one, two, three, four. I'm in a flat and I'm using my trusty capo cuz I'm lazy makes a difference. We'll get to why I'm using the capo. Now you can try a sixth chord. So here's like an E chord. And then you take your third finger, put it on the second fret of the B string. The nice thing about the capos, B seventh shape, A seventh, Six. So let's play those chords. use my second finger where the root is on the fourth fret. But I like, so you can use the capo or not. The reason, I do like the capo for these chords though. You could try it with a pick, you know. chord that you might not know. This is a A flat 13th. This, the root is on the second finger, on the ninth fret, on the B string. So wherever your, if you use this shape, wherever your second finger is on the B string, that's your root. Then the first finger kind of goes down here, like, so you have like a bracket there. So nine, and then your first finger on the 9 on the A string. That's the seventh of the note. And then these two um, sec third and fourth fingers go in the middle, the next fret up, on the tenth fret. So here's what you have. 
Sometimes I'll even do, this is like, you know, off topic a bit, but sometimes I'll go. That's my stuff, okay? Nobody, you know, I didn't get that from anywhere. I just started doing it. Anyway, check this out. Then, look how easy it is to go to your four chord, just a ninth. So this is a D flat ninth. You got to pick up your pinky and just put that where the second finger was. And then your second finger just moves over to the G string. So I'm going to do it again real slow. I'm going to zoom up on this. And then you just go up one. So that's your five. E flat ninth. 10, 11, 10, 11. I know you guys know this chord. And then down two. And then here's. So check out how that sounds on a rumble. because there is no rhythm guitar in these songs, so kind of wondering what to do sometimes. You can play that 13th or this 9th here. I mean, you're going to be standing there at a blues jam, probably, a lot of you, and someone's going to do one of these songs and you're not going to know what chords to play. And so you can consider the capo, you can use these new chords, and try to make them big and just just relax and play the same thing over and over and over again and let the music sort of build around it. And now let's talk just a little bit about the uh, kind of the ultimate, probably the daddy of these of so many blues rumbas, you know, I don't know, um, is uh, in C, BB's uh, Woke Up This Morning. This is another one, okay? The main thing you gotta get is the intro. Fits right into the five chord. 
up this morning My baby was gone Woke up this morning So I try to just approximate the horn part Do da 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 So it's like You could even do it like that So Six chords. So six is a nine. We'll get you through these rumbas. Um, so have fun with these songs. They're all have uh, great similarities, and they're all alike in that if you're playing rhythm guitar, you're kind of on, on your own. So I like these simple, repetitive parts. So enjoy yourself, and um, maybe we'll do like just the uh, note for note of uh, the very beginning of Crosscut Saw. Because, you know, if you can get the first, like, 12 bars right, then you're golden. I mean, everything is going to, the flavor will be set then. And you're going in a direction. Like, one strategy is to get intros exactly right, and then just, you can do your own thing. Because it isn't really about copying records, but it is about establishing a definite flavor. So anyway, thanks a lot and have fun.